Jack plays Undertale for the very first time. Now I don't fully remember where we were, but I have a sneaking suspicion I will soon be reminded. Ah, I remember this. I see. I remember. I kept getting killed by the dog. Great. At least that becomes easier with time. And I'm going to have a duck on my head. No, I had a hat. Quite the change. Okay. So as we go through this, how is everything for people? Are you all having fun? I know this lockdown's a bit half arsed. Okay, greater dog, I'm going to beckon you to me. He's a happy dog, though. No, no, that didn't work. Okay. Now we're going to pet. Oh. I remember to dodge the box. Okay, let's play. Give myself some ice cream so I don't die. And we'll pet him again. <laughs> There's never enough pets. Okay. Pet him again. No block. Whew. We got past the doggo. Oh, it's actually a little doggo. Who's. Uh, would that make him a butthead? Let's not find out. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. So we got a maze, a spear, dog or a rope. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing you violently up and down. Only the teensiest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Are you dry? Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. And impeccable dress sense. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, it goes... Phew. Oh, what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah, heh. <laughs> Uh, hey. Huh. Well, I'm rather glad I didn't get killed by that. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay. Oh, I'm in Snowden. 
Oh, I get it. Snowed in. What a flurry of puns. Um, hello. How can I help you? Uh, I guess that. I don't need a cat. Bought too much stuff. I only need to just sell something. Stop spending money on old branches and used bandages. I'd be out of business in a jiffy. That's fair. I need some money. Okay. Something attacked me. Okay, that's fine. We'll get some money somehow. Even if we have to rob somebody. Don't want to walk the other side of town. Try the under snow tunnels. They're effort efficient. I moved. Hello, bunny person. Isn't my little cinnamon bun just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, Tiki. Aren't you a... Um, well, you're a rabbit, and that's a rabbit. So you're a rabbit carrying a rabbit? That's, um... Hmm. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. <laughs> yes! It's because she's a rabbit carrying a rabbit. It's weird. Then here's a bear. Awful teen says to make it so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. That's nice. Hello, you. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That's a broad generalization. I am clearly a cinnamon roll. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Well, he's just short, dude. Chill. This town doesn't have a mayor. If there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Come live in the UK, mate. You'll see some interesting politics. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. We throw us a bold. We love bold. Oh. I'm thinking of getting a spike car to show off my personality. Make a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Fair. Don't know why I expected anything more, though. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Well, it happens to the best of us. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Okay, I hope it's consensual. Those dogs are part of a royal, part of the royal guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Fair. Hello, man. You're on fire. <laughs> Doesn't touch the stuff. Hello. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I thought they'd go and start moving here. Local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Really? Are you trying hard with the hair and the glasses and the leather jacket? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I mean. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and, and hot guys. Hey. Oh, he's a little mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> well, there are other ways to cope. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Um... Like Robbie? 
Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Huh. Good that you know. Hello. It's a terrible newspaper. That looks curious. Mike Lebowski. Junior Jumble, aren't you? Yeah, to a degree. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. Oh. Well. Oh. Might as well go see the Skelebros. Okay. Well, so far, I seem to have just had to be keep going left. What's up here? That's insulting. Well, fair enough. Sorry, I blacked out there for a minute. What? Okay, nothing up there. Can't go in the house that Papyrus comes from. Is it Christmas or is that just a look? Oh well. Snowy, 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 very, very snowy, very snowy, very snowy. I've been overtaken by a tinsy blanket. Concerning. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past lover, the admiration for another puzzle solved with skill, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder about what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No, 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 this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you, then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious, that's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. I don't want to fight Papyrus. Hey. What? Flirting? So you're finally revealing your ultimate feeling? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Oh no, let's date later, after I capture you. Continue flirting. Okay, I can't keep flirting. So I guess the only thing I can do is spare him. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack. It's 
Hey. Woo. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> hmm, I want Okay. Oh, this is at least a change of pace. Papyrus Dam's MT brand Bishy Green behind his ears. Papyrus. What I'm not thinking about that date thing. But I'm perfectly prepared to capture the human. Woo! Little do right. Oh. How about we give him a bit of flirting? Wait, was I not meant to eat that snowman piece? I maybe probably wasn't meant to eat that snowman piece. I didn't even realise that was a piece. But I just realised I don't have ears. Why am I doing this? Oh dear. But Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh, got this clay. The coon would have a trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Hmm. My brother will, he won't change very much. Rattling his bones. I have lots of admirers, but... They lift it. Papyrus has a jam, man. A bone attack. Will anyone like me as silly as you? Papyrus, I think everyone's going to like you. Oh, I do is really rare. Venus <laughs> clay. Sounds French. I was trying hard to play it cool. After you're captured and sent away. Ah. I refuse to die to Papyrus because I he will feel bad and I don't like that. I can't give up. Give up or face my special attack. Okay, Papyrus, frankly, that's kind of cheap. Use my... I'm waiting for this special attack, Pappy. Hopefully it's a bowl of spaghetti. I do like spaghetti. Maybe we are perfect. Whenever you want, Pat. Uh, 
What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Uh, yeah, maybe. Shy, here's an absolutely normal attack. How is this in any way normal? Cool. I got rid of this cool ood. Aw. Well, I play you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Whew, you... Yo -ho, -ho, ho I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful powers and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cabin. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal, which happened up all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And now I can just see Papyrus with an afro which would make him the guy from One Piece. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the King's Castle, the king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Did he just Superman over me? Anyway, I think I got some money from that. So I need to go buy some defensive stuff because I keep almost dying and it's irritating. So I'm going to get some defensive stuff. Buy some more food. Become a genius. What the heck was he called? The skeleton, the pink sake guy. Brooke! That's who it was. Oh, I didn't get any gold from that. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. Oh, nothing new in here. Oh, well, let's go see what Pappy's up to. Maybe we can have our date. If I had eyebrows, they'd be waggling. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house. Ooh, this is getting serious. Maybe I should put on some aftershave, perfume. 
a nice scarf, a hat. Oh, well. Uh, Sappy, there's something funky going on with your uh, door up there. Welcome to the scenic, to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. Hmm? What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Good. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes, inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. This is a bad quantum physics joke. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boning. The door is locked. And psychedelic at the same time. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, dude, you got a race car bed? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the figure. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Oh, That book's one of my favourites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favourites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course. Same has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I'm not going to touch that with a ten foot pole. Why do you have a box? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memory, that. Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it's basically just happened. Isn't that flag neato? And I found it at the bay. I think it's from a human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well... I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> there are no skeletons inside my closet, except me, sometimes. Yeah, let's look. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Alright, Pappy, what do you want to do? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yeah. Okay. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't smell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowie, I feel so informed. I'm not sure why population and crime are necessary. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. 
step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Hmm. Wait a second. Where's clothing? A bandage hanging off of you? You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. <gasps> no, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> no, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This disc won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Hmm. Hmm. No. No. Alright, well with these I always like to start from the beginning, top to bottom. My hat. My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you have found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan artisan's work. Silken spaghetti finely aged in oak and cast, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> no. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I... Papyrus. I. Um. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like it the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom for. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. And dark prison of passion with no escape, how could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Doesn't have lips, because I don't even have mouth. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true, but I'll help you set up the second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> well, that was a roller coaster of emotions. Not sure how to feel about all that.
Hmm. Oh. I've had a worse date. Guess I may as well be on my way. Out of Snowden. Oh dear, it's snowy. Yo, are you sneaking up to see her too? Well, that's him. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Huh. <laughs> okay. Repeats the last thing it heard over and over. So, well, I kind of walked into that. Fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as much legally, re legally required breaks. I'm gonna grow beef. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sand. Hi, Sand. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Sands, weren't you just here for breakfast a minute ago? No. I had breakfast. I haven't had breakfast at least I have now. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee because it was it you, Sands. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, oh, burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order burg. So he knows she's on fire, right? So what do you think? Of my brother. <laughs> he's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Well, you guys don't really have anything to wash. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, yeah, sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup, and the cat falls off, and all the ketchup in the bowl put Okay. Oops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree that Paris tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard, and begged her to let him be in it. Of course. She shut the door on him because it was midnight, but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, so you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over again. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him, or miss music. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you flip the bill? It's just 1,000. Uh, yes? Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Give me that burger. Burgers mean healing. 
Gooby said that your food is properly cold by now. Well, you're on fire. Can you not do something about it? Just touch it. Breathe on it. Blooming fireman. I need money. I've got 49 gold. There's only enough to buy the defense thing, which I think I need. Maybe if I just go out there, something will attack me, and I can use that to help myself. We have a plan. It is a cunning plan. Possibly the most cunning plan. That again. Okay, something should attack me. No. I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. There's a camera beneath, behind the waterfall. Oh. Okay. Take a picture of my butt. But, 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 but. This feels strangely ominous. Yep. Yep. Uh, hi, I'm Dan. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What, did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, and, and but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself, but Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see, you see, um, I understand, I'll help you in any way I can. Ooh. Uh. Don't move at all. Scary armored person. Oh. Good thing she can turn invisible. Uh. Yeah, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What do you do to get their attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Okay. That's why having arms is helpful. But, to someone without them, he's very chipper. Good on him. Fighting against what he's got. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough for today. Seeing as it seems like we'll be going up against Undyne, which will probably kill me a lot. Thank you for your time. Obviously, I do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Usually from about 6, but it can be later because life. I've been Union Jack. Have a great day.